Ladies and gentlemen, in today's tech tip, we're going to be taking a look at how to deal with migrated files inside of SolidWorks PDM. Working with files that already have a revision on them outside the PDM system is somewhat difficult. As we progress through the workflow, through work in progress onto released, most of the time you're going to start off with an 01, 02, 03, and then move on to an A. And then beyond that, you'll go like to B and C and D, and maybe have an A01 and, or B01 in between. Those types of things are going to happen naturally, and that's, that's the way we want it to work. However, the exception to the rule is when we deal with extra files, files that already have a revision, have already been released outside the system, and we need to place those into our vault. And you'll notice that I'm working with a migration folder. You do have to make a few modifications to the data card in order for this to work, and the revision, as you can see, comes in perfectly for what those files are. Upon check-in, these files will then go into the vault and be placed in the appropriate released cycle when we, when we transition them directly through the rev set. Now, going through the rev set, we may place a comment on there, like they're mig migrated, or uh, you might want to put some good notes in there if you're going to do this in a production environment. But you'll notice that it is doing a lot of transitioning for me. It's also moving a lot of files directly through the workflow and placing a lot of them directly into a released file state. These files are all of the ones that actually made it. Some of the exceptions being this one, which is an original release. We might want to send that back through to WIP because it's not really released. And so we can deal with some of those extra files or the additional files that didn't need to go there. We can deal with those manually. So you'll notice that a lot of the files in the middle, like B, C, D, E, F, these types of files do need to go to the appropriate next step. Whenever they're released for change, or maybe an ECO has been issued uh, to push these through to the next step, these particular ones are going to progress and advance to the finish line with the appropriate next revision. This is a great way to, to deal with the files that already exist and be able to push them through into a, a changes approval uh, type situation where all of them like this B file is now going to a C and so forth. You'll notice that I went through this one uh, and those are uh, progressing appropriately. So G is going to H and so forth. Um, I chose to push just a few so you could see what's going on, but this is how we deal with it. And just to kind of finish this off, we're going to have a, a blog article that has all of this information contained inside, but this is what the rev set looks like. It has a lot of automatic transitions. It also has the ability to set manually some of those that we choose to, and uh, you'll be able to access it through that blog. So if you have any additional questions or if you need to, do it to let us know, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, information is below to get a hold of us. Thanks a lot.